your baby can be messy. Just as you feed them their mashed carrots, they spit it up right down the front of them and, of course, right down the front of you, especially if you're wearing a new blouse, right? But when the spitting up becomes a frequent occurrence, should you start to worry? Dr. Lewis first explains. Recently, I did a segment on tests and treatments that are readily available but may not be in the best interest of your child, such as asking for a CT scan if your child has had a mild head injury where the risk of radiation far outweigh the benefit. Well, since then, parents have been asking me for further tests and treatments they should be talking about with their health care professional before they automatically ask for them. And fortunately, the American Academy of Pediatrics has some new ones as part of a national campaign called Choosing Wisely. The first recommendation is not to ask for food allergy testing just because your infant or child is irritable after eating a particular food. Irritability is not a sign of food allergy. The test will be negative and it's very expensive. Food allergy is seen with diarrhea, vomiting, difficulty breathing, or a skin rash, or a positive family history. In that case, food allergy testing may be indicated. Another recommendation is not to ask for medicines or treatments or radiation because your baby spits up a lot but is gaining weight. When babies gain weight and spit up a lot, well, spit up happens. It's only when they're losing weight or having difficulty breathing, then you should ask for medications or x-rays to figure out why your baby is vomiting so much. The third recommendation from the American Academy of Pediatrics is not to ask for routine urine testing when you bring your child in for a checkup every year. These are going to be negative for the most part or contain contamination from germs on your child's skin that get into the urine and therefore will result in what we call a false positive urine test and unnecessary use of antibiotics. You need to do a urine test if your child has burning or difficulty urinating or some pain on urination and that's when you want to ask for that particular test. So that hopefully tips like this will allow you to choose more wisely when it comes to talking with your child's health care professional about tests and treatments that are readily available but may not always be in your child's best interest. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First reminding you to always be first with your kids.